What's up guys, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Got out of work today, early October. Still have enough light that I can get to a couple places that are pretty tough to hunt later in the year when it gets dark earlier. So I came down to Lee and I's favorite spot, canoed across the lake, and uh, now I'm gonna put my pack on and walk about half a mile up to where I'm gonna sit for the night. <music> to you guys but I had two options walk up about 250 yards up a steep slope before I get above the clear cut and walk across or canoe by myself another mile straight into a 10 mile an hour north wind I chose to walk amazing what happens when you run into deer who don't see people very often they have no idea what to do I jumped her laying on the bed on this side slope stood and looked at me three four minutes walked away stood and looked at me I walked within 30 yards of her before she just kind of sauntered up the hill didn't sprint didn't jump not too alert not too scared pretty cool there's where I came from here's the top corner of this clear cut I gotta go over about 250 yards to get to the stand I want to sit in. This is why I do the work to come in here. Holy moly. and I are down here in Pennsylvania. It's been two years in the works. We get all our stuff ready to canoe about 1.7 miles. We're gonna get in, we're gonna get some clothes changed, and we're gonna get up to a couple tree stands and we're gonna sit all day. Wish us luck. Canoeing in, in the dark with a north wind in our face. Hopefully we're coming out with a north wind on our back and a deer in the boat. Battery's dead. Uh -oh. mm. This would make it a little bit more challenging because oh, I have a bright light going in. This headlamp sucks. I can't see three feet with it. You know, in 10 minutes it'll work, right? Tree I wanted. So we are in 
are here for the day. We ran into another hunter this morning who said he's been out here two days and has not seen a single deer. Lee is low. I'm high. We're going to talk like midday and uh, figure out a plan for the afternoon and evening. Uh, hopefully we'll find some fresh scrapes. And that way it sets us up for coming back here in about five or six days. So it's 8.30. I have not seen anything. Lee's not seen anything. So I'm going to get down and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to stalk up this point real carefully and I'm going to look for fresh sign here this morning. And if I don't find anything up top, it's going to give me an idea that middle of the day I'm going to move down um, in and around some real thick stuff and see if I can find some sign down there to sit this afternoon and this evening. It's been since that stand's been in action. I got 20 yards further in, and I slipped on a log. As soon as I slipped on a log and the leaves rolled, she turned and ran. That nice rock that she was behind, I was going to try to get it within 30 yards, so when she came out, I could shoot, but 10 yards, not enough. Yeah, uh, second year here trying this out in PA across the lake. And uh, man, we saw seven, nine deer today, all doe, but only two while we were sitting and staying, man, it was a slow day. So I don't know, we're gonna have to go back and reevaluate. I have a feeling a lot of it has to do with uh, no acorns this year because of the gypsy moths, but we'll sit back, take a look, and we'll go from there and decide what we wanna do in PA next year, whether it's come back here or go somewhere else. Okay, buddy. Okay, let's go home. See you guys.